happening my frantic tv friends thank you for clicking on sven's world i appreciate it. you know that hey um not a group ride not a anything fun to do i have got my blue aerial rider stock x class loaded on the back you can see it in the on the rack behind the truck i'm heading over to the pv mad scientist rett's house this guy does it all man he builds batteries he's a troubleshooter he's he's a builder he does it all um i've got a far driver controller and uh, I'm going to install it under the seat um, I've been having some issues I bought this bike used it's throwing an error code 10 and uh, the speedometer doesn't work or it has issues I mean the bike works in general I can ride it just 30 miles an hour but I need to upgrade it because I can't control I can't see what's going on with the bike so it's time to upgrade long story short anyhow I'm glad you're here stay tuned I'm gonna try to videotape this the best I can um, it should be pretty cool, all right? I'm glad you're with me. Thanks for clicking on it, all right? We'll see you shortly. All right, so let me explain to you why I'm doing this. Like I say, I bought this bike used. I got it on right now. It runs fine, it hauls ass, but it's running an air code 10. The speedometer does not work, and the battery voltage level says 100 all the time. So the bike needs to be fixed. I've tried putting two stock area rider controllers in it, didn't fix it. Still area code era ten. Nothing's working. So next is this baby. We're gonna put this in there, and it's a programmable far driver. Like I say, it's gonna go under the seat and mount it back here, and uh, it should be really cool. I'll really, uh, really give this bike some type of balls and upgradable and programmable. So when I do want to go sixty volt or seventy two volt, I can. All right. So stay tuned. We're glad you're here. All right. The uh, taking apart begins. Here we go. Oh, hey, by the way, this is uh, Rhett Fernandez. He's the uh, the mad PV scientist. He builds batteries, man. This guy's badass, man. I'm, I'm so lucky to have him in my life, man. If you ever need any help, man, hit me up. I'll, I'll pass his name and number on to you, man. He's the man. All right, so we have the controller out. The old 28 amp hour stock air rider controller. The spark cycle work battery blender. We'll probably still utilize that. But uh, we are making progress. It's time to cut the motor controller for this hub motor. That's that's next. We'll have to cut that and splice in our new wiring harness. Stay tuned. All right, success. So it is mounted. It is where it's going to live for the next who knows how long. So now comes the wiring. Stand by. Okay making progress disconnected the throttle uh the old display is gone because with the far driver uses the app to control it um we're making progress making progress I'm looking for some uh, it's gonna be a, a a three stage switch high medium low to run the far driver and um a power keyed switch on the handlebars is coming soon here all right, the art of wiring is going on. Got the three position switch, the throttle, and the key throttle. It's going to have a, a voltometer and a key switch on it, on off switch on it as well. So, Rhett is working his magic, man. He's the uh, he's the master. It's the reason I'm here. The reason I'm glad you're here too. All right, hang out, bitches. It's not. Instead of like, because it could be set up to either like a three, like a three toggle switch or a mom momentary switch. So you can go one, two, three. So, so that's right how it's now, acting, you think? Yeah, so right now you go like this and it switches gears. Really? Yeah. Starts off on one, then two, then three? No, it's not. So you just go from center over one, two, three. Like that. It's going over like, like a sequential, but it, it could be changed. All right, so progress. Uh, everything is wired up. We did, we're able to turn it on. No sparks, no flames. Downloaded the Far Driver app 
connected to the app and uh, the motor was turning over. Uh, putting it back together and we'll take it out to the highway here in front of the house and see how it goes, right? So far, so good. It's been a couple hours. Wiring is the, is the hardest part. Fortunately, Brett is a master at that, so. And now, a special reminder. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, he's trying to take my e-bike. Don't take my e-bike, please. Why are you running? So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Just do it. All right, so it's been a couple of days. I have everything working now. We have some issues with the uh, pole pairs. There's a lot of unknowns with the aerial rider motor. Uh, it's only a 750, I know that, but as far as the pole pairs and without taking it apart, we, we, it was just trial and error. So let me uh, go over to you what we, what we ended up with. I ended up with a key switch with a voltage meter on it, a three pole, a uh, variable switch for the motor or for the uh, a far driver controller um, Everything works really good. I have it turned down right now to 60 phase. Okay, this is all new to me now So I'm still learning uh, it's at 180 line phase amps and 60 it's drawing 60 phase amps from the batteries or I, I I'm, I'm learning all right bear with me here. So um, I saw 4,000 watts and about 38 miles an hour, it was crazy for, for one ride. Then I had to turn it down. The motor got real hot. So um, it does work. You can put a far driver controller on your bike. Um, I am going to upgrade these wheels, though. I'm going with a 3K nominal 5,000 watt peak. I'm going to go with a, a mag wheel. I'll insert a photograph of the wheels I'm going with. So I'll be upgrading the batteries too. I'll be going to 72 volt full frame battery. I got a bag coming from JB Seats. And uh, I'll have a battery built to go in the middle of it here real soon. So thank you for watching my video, man. Uh, it is possible to put a far driver on your Area Rider X class if you know what you're doing and you have the right wheels um, and make it happen. All right, thanks for watching Sven's World. Um, stay tuned for the next episode only on Frantic TV, bitches. We're glad you're here, man. All right, take care. But uh, hey, let me ask you a question. Do you see a lot more people riding e-bikes in your neighborhood? Uh, riding electric scooters, riding electric one wheels? Sort of a revolution is happening in the personal electric vehicle world, isn't it? It is a revolution. And that revolution will be televised right here on Frantic TV.